Hi, so my name is uh, Saud Moko. I work for Arm uh, in Cambridge, and I'm the marketing delivery manager for the uh, multimedia processing division. So I look after platforms and demos. And uh, speaking of demos, here you're looking at our flagship demo, the Canvas uh, user interface. So this has been a demo that's been totally um, uh, built uh, in-house with a team of four engineers in our Norway office in Trondheim. Um, and this is showing you um, a canvas on which you can actually use uh, 3D and 2D objects. The menu is in 3D, as you can see, the icons and everything with the effects and shadows. Um, and it's interactive with touch. Of course, the touch screen is over the whole 32-inch here in HD resolution, of course. And you can use it to browse your media files, for example. You can play video on the canvas while playing some other games. You can throw 3D objects. You can play with, you know, RSS feeds as well. You can look at the news. And this is sort of text, rich text rendering on Mali 200 using OpenGL ES2.0 API. Um, you can play the video, map it onto a cube while browsing your photos, doing some scaling. You can play with those photos as well and throw them around. This user interface also has a built-in physics engine that allows those kind of collisions you would expect in this bowling game, for example. So if I give a bit of distance on this and you can throw the ball in there and it will interact with the 2D and 3D objects. You can even throw the cube at the pins if you wanted to. So uh, to show off also the shader capabilities of the hardware, you can also look at the 3D objects that you can throw on the canvas and look at the details you get with shaders. So if I pan closer to this object, you can see the definitions. You can see what you can do with the types of programmable shaders that the OpenGL ES2 and the Mali 200 GPU allows. Zooming closer into this uh, statuette, for example, you can see the effects of shadows, bump mapping, and the polygon complexity can handle. All that is at 720p resolution for an embedded platform. On top of that, you can also just have a play with some of the, uh, the widgets that we put together. So uh, you can stack up a few objects and look at the uh, physics effects. You can throw things at, at each other and it's fairly fun to play with as well. You can resize these objects at the moment, giving that um, it, will, it will support gestures like a pinch and zoom as well. So it's a single point touch, but it will support a gesture like that for resizing or rotating as well. This sofa as well has um, a viewing angle and you can sort of look at the shaders to define the fabric, the lighting effects. It's very realistic. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.